Hey, in this video, I am going to talk about 54 Mini, which is a 3.8 billion parameter model, and 54 Multimodel model, which is a 5.6 billion parameter model. Now, these two models are from Microsoft, and these are amazing, beating different benchmarks. Before we start this video, we can see that 54 Multimodel Instruct is on number one on open asr which is automatic speech recognition leaderboard so let's get back to the video so we have 54 mini which is 3.8 billion parameter model and we can see that this is a dense decoder only transformer model with 200k vocabulary and a shared input output embeddings its features for speed and efficiency. It has 128K tokens. It can deliver high accuracy and scalability, making it a powerful local model. Of course, this is a local model and you can download it. We will see how we can download it using LM Studio, using Olama, and all those tools are available for you to download this model. So let's look at the benchmarks of this mini model. So you can see that the dark color, which is 54 mini instruct. So this is on the left. This is the 54 mini instruct and across different benchmarks on the X axis. You can see that this model beats 53.5 mini instruct, which was the earlier version of this model itself. And it beats Llama 3.2 billion instruct, which is this color. It beats Ministrel. It beats Quen 2.5, 3 billion. It almost beats Quen 2.57 billion, which is the red one. It absolutely dominates Ministrel 8 billion. It absolutely dominates Llama 3.18 billion. It is almost at par and even beating some of the benchmarks for Gamma 2, 9 billion. And it's trying to catch up with GPT-40 Mini. That's pretty amazing benchmarks. Now it has function calling capabilities as well. And it's pretty awesome. Any model which has function calling abilities can open the doors to different APIs and it can allow the model to talk to different, to use different tools, to talk to different services using the API via the function calling. And that's pretty amazing. Not many models can use function calling. We have Llama 3.2 that can use function calling, Llama 3.3. But this 54 mini, this even though it's a very small model, it can use function calling. And you can see one use case of function calling is that at headquarters, at headwaters, we are leveraging fine-tuned small language model like 54 mini on the edge to enable operational efficiency and provide innovative solutions. Now Edge AI demonstrates outstanding performance even in environments with unstable network connections or in fields where confidentiality is paramount. This makes it highly promising for driving innovations across various industries. So they're using this 54 Mini. Now looking at the whole five family group of different models, we can see that with the release of these two models, the 54 Mini and the 54 Multimodel model, we see that new models are now being updated in the language capabilities, coding, vision, function calling, audio, and advanced reasoning. You can use Azure Hugging Face and GitHub models, or you can use in NVIDIA NIMS, Olama, LM Studio, and whatnot. Now to install 54 Mini, what you can do is that you can go ahead and install LM Studio, and then you can go to the search button on the left here, and then you're gonna search for 54 Mini, and you can download this 54 Mini Instruct GGUF format. Go ahead and click on download model. I'm already downloaded. Therefore, I can go ahead and load this model. So I'm gonna go and load this model. Just click on load this model. So this is going to load up the model and make it ready for inference. So a new chat, what is the capital of France? And you can see that this is the output. It's pretty fast. You can see the output, very long output, pretty fast output, and it's amazing. So next, 
what we can do is uh, of course you can see the number of tokens here 59 te tokens per second 734 tokens that's pretty amazing now we can even go ahead and attach some files so rag application not a problem here so i'm going to attach this paper itself 54 mini and i can say which models are we talking about let's say so this is going to retrieve make it that make different chunks retrieve and even give you the sources from which this is extracted so you can see that 54 mini has been talked about uh citation one introduces 54 multimodel and this refers to other models so you can see that it works for rag application as well now you can go to olama and download that as well which i will leave it up to you next if you are trying to understand and use the multimodel that is not available here but they have released in fact few spaces which we are going to try to understand and see the 54 multimodel model but before that let's go and find out what it it is so 54 multimodel this is a 5.6 billion parameter model and it seamlessly integrates speech vision and text processing so text is always available for an llm now we're talking about vision and speech as well and that too not in a different way to in a single model so in a single model you can use vision you can use speech and you can use text processing you don't need separate models this 5.6 billion model is enough to do all these works now we can see that 54 multimodel this is a single model with a mixture of loras so low rank adaptation that includes speech vision and language all processed simultaneously within the same representation space and that's very important the result is a single unified model capable of handling text audio and visual inputs no need for complex pipelines or separate models for different modalities and that's pretty awesome let's go ahead and look at the performance here so you can see that on the chart qa on the doc vqa on the info vqa we have this 54 multiple instruct performing pretty good and it's comparable and better in, in fact than the gemini 2.1 flashlight gemini 2.0 flash gemini 1.5 pro and in turn omni 7 billion and that's pretty amazing let's go ahead and test this out you can see on other speech benchmark as well uh you can see speech recognition is better speech translation speech question answer audio understanding speech summarization those benchmarks are pretty good everybody reports good benchmarks you can see the vision benchmarks here and that is also pretty good but let's leave the benchmark apart and let's go ahead and try this out so these are some you know spaces where these models are hosted now i could download the model from the hugging face itself and run it on my local system but that will be done in a different video in this video let's look at the spaces so here what we can do is we can record ourselves here and once you record ourselves that will create a listen note so if you click here then the recording will be processed it will be extracted and a node will be prepared so i have already recorded myself so let me go ahead and put that recording so this is where i have tried to come up with ideas for this youtube video that i'm preparing so i click on process node you can see that it is transcribing the audio here so we get the output as a summary so you can see that the main idea or theme is created itself is creating youtube video tutorial on using and fine-tuning this model actionable steps and open questions so this is the transcription this is what i said and it's pretty accurate now another space to see the capability is this you drop an image it gives out and reads the text so some sort of ocr so we can go ahead and uh, use this handwritten image as well I click on recognize text this is going to recognize the text test recognize and audio generated and you can see that it generated the text here and this is the speech dear bobby kennedy this money is for the race to the moon and that's pretty cool i have another spaces for you uh this is the speech translator so you can say anything it is going to translate to 
Chinese, for example, you have different languages here. And five four works with different languages, you know, Microsoft it almost about 20 languages you can work with and that's pretty awesome so let me record something what is your name please tell me so i'm going to click on translate this is going to understand my english and convert into chinese so let's go and test this out uh, chinese to english translation put the word and what's your what your name please tell me okay i can see the output here okay another example that i have published on their website a right triangle with sides a b and hypotenuse c what kind of theorem is this pythagorean theorem which states that in a right triangle the square of the length of the hypotenuse c is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of its other two sides a and B. Nice. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. What other applications of this theorem? The Pythagorean theorem has many applications, including calculating distances, finding the height of an object, and solving problems involving right triangles in various fields such as architecture, engineering, and physics. Wow, thanks. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. So we have the research paper as well. And this paper is published. So we have 5.4 mini and 5.4 multimodel, both instruct models. We have tested this out. It is comparable with the large models as well. It's comparable with DeepSeek R1 and even beat some of the benchmarks of the large models as well please try out this open source model it's a revolution we should try this out for our own use cases and make different agents please check out this video on n8n automation i think you would like it so i'll see you there